Uh, my name is uh, Charlie Veach. I'm a member of the Love Police, Detective Charlie Veach. Right. How's it going? Okay. First thing I must point out, it has private premises. Okay, but we so, can disagree on that, but I'll let you carry on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it is private premises, or it's crown property. Yeah. They have the right to reject you at all, okay? Mm -hmm. Also, this area is covered under Section 44 of the Terrorism, Terrorism Act. Sorry, just for the camera, Section 44 of the Terrorism Act. Which the European Court of Human Rights ruled unlawful. Yeah, yeah. anyway. Yeah. Not, not quite. Yeah. No, they did, they did, they did. They did. They did. They did. Also, investigating what you might have said inside that may have an offence. OK, because they've got their story, obviously, about what we said. We do this a lot. We never swear, we're never homophobic, we're never racist. We always make sure we do not break Section 5 of the Public Order Act. We never cause alarm, offence or distress to a member of the public because we don't want to get in trouble with you guys, obviously. So we've done our research, but our job is to just make people think and to make the beef eaters think. And what we went in there originally was to say that Prince Charles is a big environmentalist and he doesn't want people to eat meat because it's bad. Cows farting is bad for the environment. So we called the beef eaters well, carrot cows eaters. contribute to the majority of the CO2 in the environment. Yeah, anyway. so we called the, the... Which is a fact. We called the beef eaters carrot eaters. Anyway, you're, I'll interrupt you. Sorry. Yeah. The officers will investigate that and see if, they, if you have committed any offences. But you say you didn't swear at all or anything like that? We make well, sure we do. to us. Oh, yeah, we got it on they camera. They told him first to go bugger off back to Scotland, no, and then he told him to F off. He goes and to me, he goes to me, prick, he goes to me, where are you from? I'm a witness to that. He goes to me, where are you from? And I said, Scotland. And he goes, well, the other thing Scotland. you need to consider is that a group of people, I understand, uh, got involved in it and are quite upset by what you're saying. Yeah. And therefore, your actions could have caused a breach of the peace. You understand that? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, of course. So, yeah. Excuse me, innit? A breach of the peace? Excuse me. Oh, no, let, let me carry on. Hold on, sorry, hold on, sorry. Hold on, sorry. Well, any sort of breach yeah. of the peace, you know? Yeah. Any disturbance? Other no. than noise, aggravation, know, would, but let me people just, complaining. Can I just also for the camera as well. If you arrest us for a breach of the peace, it doesn't necessarily mean we've broken the law. It means that you're removing us from the area to investigate <laughs> whether a crime has been well, committed. I'm going to say I'm going to arrest you for breach of the peace. Oh, no, I, 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 breach yeah. peace going on. Okay. If you're going to go back in there, I've got yeah. four A's in me. Yeah. Yeah. Bernardo, yeah. there's going to be trouble. <laughs> yeah. Bernardo, you may yeah. commit yeah. further offences yeah. causing a breach of peace, and there you could get arrested. Yeah, yeah. yeah. of course. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But in the meantime, we're just going to take some details of it. Okay, I, I, I very politely. I wish to remain anonymous, as is my right under Section 44 of the Terrorism Act. Right? Yeah. Okay. Actually, can I just say... Of course you can, of course you can. ...came up who did find them very offensive. Right. And we did have a go, but they have been on the paper right back. They right. haven't been... In no, what way do you find them offensive? We are making fun of the royal family. The yeah. whole lot, the Afghanistan quits, the royal family, the whole lot. They've got their opinion, we've got ours. Yeah, there was a difference of opinion. I did challenge them, yeah. but they... And she's been super been. cool as well. But did we swear? Did we no, no homophobic, racist? No. Oh, no. <laughs> we are. No, but... This is the Orwellian the, state we live in. Find out who I am. I nearly did. Look up the Love Police on Google. I'm very well known. <laughs> as Charlie. Like but because do. it's a matter of principle for me, and also under Section 44, I have the right to remain anonymous as well. I wish to remain anonymous. <laughs> My colleagues will probably search you and your accomplices. I'm sorry? And I'm going to search Accomplice. Oh, no, 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 I refuse to be searched, because like, I, I will then Ooh, report you wait to a second. officers under section... I'm actually feeling offended. Sorry? Why? No, no, under section 44. Why, why must he be searched? May I ask just a, a simple question? And please don't touch me. I re please respect my physical dignity. Don't touch me, and I will not touch you guys. But I am sovereign over my human body, and I do not consent to any search. I do not consent to any authority you feel you have over me. I am a sovereign British citizen, and I do not wish to be searched. Okay? Please respect that. You know we have a pass. No, you do not. Okay, because what, what, what I crime has he? What, what crime has he committed? What he's committed a crime. I said. What yeah. crime has he committed? So I can I can stop someone in Section 44 of the Terrorism Act. Um, How is he a terrorist? Explain that to me. Well, it's for me to establish it. You know. By what he's rule? Coming to a, by what rule? He's coming to a, an so iconic with site. a megaphone. With a megaphone. This isn't a weapon of terror. Ex okay, let, let's just bring anyway, let's reason bring and lo yeah, let's, let's bring yeah. reason and logic into this for just one moment. Okay. Yeah. He's got a megaphone. Phone. There were many people, some of them are here, they all bore bear witness to what he just did. It's under CCTV. How is anything he's done considered terrorist? Explain that to me. Well, I'm not going to go the ins and outs okay. of what you think a terrorist is. No, no, no. There is a definition, definition of what terrorism is. So sort of political gain and all that sort of thing by trespassing on premises, right, climbing, right, damaging, right, right. to acts of terrorism, to influence political things like that. 
Okay. This does not even come close. No, guys. So what, this is, is what terrorism. this is what ends up and on you the front page well of the Guardian do. newspaper. This is, this is, is when police. It's ludicrous to even search a person. I am a sovereign human being. Without having any justification and using terrorism as, yeah. a, as a cause. And because you guys there's are nothing usually, we related do the to this. Are you guys metropolitan police? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are super cool to us. We never get searched. We never get arrested. We do this a lot in London. And. This is the kind of stuff that well, would end up on the front page of the well, newspapers if you guys then assault me. Does. Yeah, of course it does. Okay, but please don't touch me. That's all I ask. That's all I ask. There's no reason for him to be searched, and you know that as well as I do. Yeah, that's all I ask. A law-abiding police man or woman, not officer, a man and woman actually functions for the benefit of the people and, and not for the state. You to protect and, us, yeah. and I would feel you should, that I you would should need to report. You should protect his rights yeah. as well as the rights of everyone else. Yeah. And his right is that he should remain anonymous as a sovereign citizen. Okay, yeah, of course. Question. Yeah, sure. Were you filming inside there? No, we, we weren't filming inside. That, We've been outside. This is check CCTV. We do not film just the outside. Am I? Have a look at what you've been filming. Just we wish to it. remain anonymous fully on also what's been filmed. You as can well. ask any witness here who has been present, and them themselves, unless they're lying, that we have not even stepped foot in there into the Tower of London. No, we've not gone close we, to it. We we'd did have not to film. buy a ticket if we stepped foot. Yeah. So and also, we, we haven't purchased a ticket because I wouldn't buy a ticket to go yeah, in there anyway. But it goes more... So. Anyway, we'll listen to you now. We've been talking a lot.